be very careful with the sound level on your speakers. And prepare yourself to hear something really beautiful and obviously loud. Yes. Very impressive. Isn't it? If you are asking yourself, what does this triumph has to do with my Honda CX? Please be patient. I will explain everything later. So, is my project finished yet? Unfortunately no. But I can assure you one thing. It is going to look much better than I ever imagined. Welcome to Racer TV. Yes, the seat base structure looks strange. And I have several reasons for that. The first one is that it is going to be a two-seater but don't worry. It will also have a proper and beautiful rear cowl. And the second reason, is this one. This small piece of the frame structure, is the only part that was cut. It may seem strange, but this was the only section of the original frame, that had to be removed. But let's now talk about the seat. This was another one of the project's challenges. Not to mention my mechanics work. It is not easy to work with curved lines. And achieving the right foam format, was even harder. Because I already had to change it twice. This happened due to the rear cowl's format. These are the molds of the initial rear seat cover. As usual, on the project's drawing, it was beautiful. But when I made some perspective simulations on Photoshop, I didn't feel the same enthusiasm. It looks okay, but I think it is too skinny, compared with the size of the fuel tank. Even my, still secret, mechanic, thought the same. But after some time, our luck has changed completely. One day, I remembered that we had tried an old fuel tank, that my mechanic had on a shelf. The first time we tried, it looked huge and unproportional on the side view. But when I saw the rear, it had some very interesting lines. However, after having the seat mounted in place, I thought it was a good opportunity, to try the old fuel tank again. And I could not have made a better decision. It just looked fantastic. The shape, and most of the proportions, are perfect for this project. Initially, it looked so good, that my mechanic refused to take it off. I cannot show you everything, especially the front section of the rear cover. But I can assure you, that it has everything to do, with the rest of the project. I also tried another rear end, that came from a Ducati. I recognize it looks good. But it is lacking the originality, I am looking for on this project. So. Let's go back to the initial subject with the Triumph. The owner of this motorcycle, is a new client of my mechanic, who wanted a new pair of exhausts to improve the engine's sound. And that was when my mechanic asked me, if he could try my Honda CX's exhausts on this Triumph. And I could only answer, yes, please. Before trying the exhausts on this Triumph Thunderbird 900, I explained to the owner, all the advantages of this kind of exhausts. 
and here is what happened. <laughs> I think it is not necessary to say, that he really loved it. Not only the owner himself, but all the others who were there. I know that a three-cylinder engine, may help improve the exhaust's note. But we also tried one of the exhausts, on an old Honda Transalp with a V-twin engine. And again, it sounds very good. This obviously means, that these are the perfect exhausts for my Honda CX. They are known, as pea shooters. But I will explain everything about them, on a future episode. If you ask me what is my current state of mind about this project, I would say, relieved. But still worried. I say relieved, because the most important design decisions, are already solved. But now I'm worried, about the deadline in which the project will be finished. It is very hard for me, to see the summer out of my window, and not having my beautiful new machine ready to ride. But I am really confident, that my magnificent and secret mechanic, won't let me down. Isn't it, my mechanic friend? I am counting on you. And I am sure that all Racer TV fans, are also counting on you. I said this, because I know that he is going to watch this video. And this is all I can say for now, about this unforgettable, but hard project. Thank you, for watching Racer TV, and as always, I hope to see you next week. <laughs>